Despicable Dreadlord isn't that draw. And that is going to be Allen tying up this series 2-2 two to two in a matchup where really he should struggle. But you were completely right, Dr. J. You do just whiff sometimes with this Warlock. I mean, I don't think that was a whiff. I think what had happened was in that early stage, Sanaya just got so confident with his hand that he slipped up a little bit. And because of that slip up, it actually gave Alan the victory. And Alan's going to tie it up 2-2. Two, two. All thanks to a beautiful Alunith as well, as Alan just takes a bit of time. Actually, one thing he said to me is he ropes Killiseth on two. He is the kind of player to try and get in his opponent's head. And look at this now. He has lethal, but he's just waiting. Oh, and he's I love just it, Alan. Throw a little bit of BM. I mean, I know I was joking about the mind games, but they are definitely Cliff there. Cliff in the cliff. He's just trying to mind game as much as possible. Alan just toying with Hanaya now at this point. He's going to probably throw a deck of wonders into, in there as well. And then the fireball is going to be the final nail in the coffin to get to a game five. It's very cheeky, but I do love to see a little bit of BM here and there. Definitely. And I mean, there is no way that he ever arcane intellects. I think Alan's one of those players. He's just trying to, you know, you were mentioning earlier that psychological factor that he is going for right now. I love this, And he's Alan. looking at him as well. He's giving Hanaya the eyes and he's saying, well, yep. You know I've got it. A little bit of BM to get himself into <laughs> game number five in this grand final. What a grand final it's been. We were worried it could just be a 3-0 stomp looking at the deck list. But somehow, Alan's kept himself in it. And now he has one game to try and win this grand final. That was awesome. I don't think I've ever seen <laughs> BM that I just appreciated so yeah, much as that. And the crowd were giggling <laughs> as well. I saw production, they were giggling. Everyone likes a little bit of BM here and there. Do you know who doesn't? Probably Hanaya. Yeah, he I don't think Hanaya is that. too happy right now. But anybody, somebody that is happy is definitely Alan right definitely now. Definitely Alan. How would you take that as a player if someone kind of threw that much BM at you though. That, that's not something that's enjoyable, surely. It really isn't something that's enjoyable, but one thing I do think that needs to come to the forefront is, you know, a little bit more personality in the games. Uh, you know, sure. we, a lot of times players get up there and they get so robotic, they get so focused, that sometimes, you know, you just kind of lack that personality when you're up there on stage. And I'm glad to see that Alan is bringing that, although it was kind of bad manners, we have to agree. But, you know, that's the fun in the game. Hearthstone's fun. You're meant to have fun. Exactly. And, being, being bad's fun. Being bad. <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> uh, but he does have a spiteful druid that is going into the Zulok, which is another unfavorable matchup. And from playing all that BM, from being a little bit cocky, he is going to put himself in a scenario where if Hinaya wins now, does he look the fool? He could look like the fool, but I think he's willing to take that risk, I especially he well. because he noticed that Hanaya made that mistake early on with the Voodoo Doctor. He would have been hand tracking, and he knows if Hanaya makes that mistake, maybe he could have capitalized on that by trying to tilt Hanaya off the face of the earth. Well, I mean, as I said, when we spoke to him yesterday, he says, I am the type of player who will rope Keleseth on too. I try and get in my opponent's head. And regardless if we're joking about uh, what degree he's studying at the moment, clearly he has a plan in this final of just trying to get any kind of edge. And he needs it because we've looked at all the matchups most of them are all favorable for Hanaya I mean to be honest it's impressive that he got this far in it matchups is. already I was like yeah this is probably a 3-0 this is going to be a blowout final but here we are we're in a grand final I'm excited you're excited the whole crowd is excited I think this is the final that this tournament deserved to be honest I think so as well this final has been fair I mean you can just hear clapping right there this final is the final they deserve. Yeah, the Japanese uh, casters just getting the crowd a little bit excited there. I've got to say a shout out to the Japanese casters as well. Very polite, came and said hello every morning. Despite the fact I know zero Japanese, they made <laughs> the effort to actually look up how to say hello in, in English, and, and they know that little bit of English as well. So really nice guys over on the casting desk of Japan. As you can see, some of the crowd, as I was saying, a full house here. There are over 200 people. People now standing at the back of the room, all trying to get a glimpse of this incredible grand final. Who do you think is going to take it, Dr. J? If you had to give me a prediction now, what does your gut say? Well, I think on paper, it's Hanaya. But, you know, after that BM session, I'm going to have to give it to Alan. I gave it to Alan from the start. Alan is a personal friend of mine. I have no caster bias here whatsoever. I want Alan to take it. You want Alan to take it. You think he could take it. You say on paper, well, you know what? Screw the paper. We get rid Did of the paper. Did you just rip the paper? Yeah, get rid of it. Who cares what the stats say? I'm just looking forward to a good game of Hearthstone here because it doesn't matter what the stats have said in the last four games. We've just seen, we've seen BM, we've seen misplays, we've seen fantastic plays as well. I mean, do you think that last game 
if we had seen the Voodoo Doctor played on turn one, we seen the Happy Ghoul come out, could that have influenced that I think it would have changed so much because there would have been a lot more trades that happened uh, and a lot of less damage would have been pushed face, which would have meant that Alan didn't necessarily have that. Now that Aluneth off the top was the oh, was saving huge. grace yeah. and huge for Alan. That's the reason you put that card in the deck. You put that card in the deck to draw it at those pristine times and because of that, Alan tied up the series. And you got to look at the way Alan played that game as well by trading into the Vicious Fledgling, making sure the Elemental survived so he didn't die to a Despicable Dreadlord, keeping the Fireball back for extra damage later. I mean, even if he hadn't drawn a Lunath, there was still a possibility that he could have drawn into another Fireball and been able to find that damage to finish off the game anyway. But I'm sure he won't mind that he found the easier route of a Lunath, which is a filthy <laughs> card. If you look at, uh, at what a Lunath does, it is absolutely incredible. And I'm excited to see how actually in the new expansion and what cards can be added to Tempo Mage or Aggro Mage to make it even more powerful because it's always been there or thereabouts. Sometimes it's dropped off, sometimes it's gained pace, but it always turns up at these tournaments at just the right time. Dan, I'm glad you're excited to see what kind of cards Alunith can be drawn from, like what kind of cards that Alunith can draw that make Tempo Mage better. I am not excited for no. that because Tempo Mage gets through Taunt. And when you get through taunt, you're cheating. Are you a are you a taunt kind of player? You're a, you're a kind of no. I'm a face player. kind of player. Oh, okay. And a troll kind of player. So I actually love tempo mage. Yeah, you should absolutely <laughs> adore it. I mean, I'm a, I've always been a face hunter kind of guy. Ooh. So that's why I was excited. I wanted to see odd odd hunter come into the mix. But uh, maybe Alan won't even need it. He won't even need it to actually win this grand final. But Penaya, I mean. I don't think he's going to be affected too much by these mind games. Yes, okay, your opponent's BM'd. Yes, okay, there was a somewhat uh, call for a misplay on turn one. But do you think he's the kind of guy to be affected by it? Uh, it's hard to say because obviously I don't know Hanaya personally, and I know sometimes I myself can get affected by those plays. But what you have to do is you have to take the time. You've got this little bit of time right now before the game even starts where you can just calm yourself down. You can relax, take deep breaths, and you can make sure that, you know, you're back in it. Speaking of back in it, look behind us. Where's Alan? Another bathroom break, is it? I'm in the, this this kid. You're not saying, but I'm not you're saying. just saying. I'm not saying, but when he played his first game the other day, I did call out that he likes his mind games, and that is mind game number three or four. Like, that's absolutely incredible that he's able to, like, try and do this. Like, I don't know. It's, it's both BM, but it is also very smart. In a game like Hearthstone, you do need to take the edge in a game of percentages, and he is doing so, as now it looks like he is finally returning to his desk. So we might get this game on the way. I didn't even notice that. You didn't even You were busy gone? looking at the monitor, like <laughs> making sure you're trying to make sure. Do you have your Allen meter going off? <laughs> as soon as he performs a little bit of BM or any mind game, just like, woo -woo. <laughs> and, I, and I just know. It's like your Spidey senses. Exactly. My Alan, my <laughs> your Alan, Alan senses. senses. What was it me and JD were talking about? We were talking about five minutes with Alan. We were going to make a new show. Uh, because we think he's just so interesting to talk to. One of the most interesting players I've spoken to in this event, really to be is. honest. Who do you think was your favorite? Well, actually, who was your favorite? Because we called out who our favorites were coming into this tournament. Who did you think was going to win uh, from the get-go? I said Plev. You said, well, just because he beat you. <laughs> just because he beat me. <laughs> just be but um, if I weren't to give it to that, I honestly wanted to see Alan do well because I love the underdog story. I love the person who is newer to the scene. Obviously, has been in the scene for a while. A lot of pro players would know who Alan is. But, you know, he doesn't have that just that accolade yet that Muzzy and Hunter Ace do. And of course, Muzzy and Hunter Ace are going to go down in history, so it's nice to see someone else get their turn in the spotlight, especially when they're such a good player as Alan. And, and what does it do to your credibility as a player? I, I'm not by winning a tournament, by beating a tournament winner. So even, let's say, Hanaya does win this grand final. The fact he knocked out Hunter Race in the semi-final, does that raise you up the ranks a, li uh, a little bit in terms of respect from other players, where they say, oh, he beat Hunter Race? I think it does. I mean, it's just a testament to how good of a player Hanaya also is. We've seen some blunders but you know that just comes from the stress of playing in a very big finals that in your home country it's just very hard to do so and you see him with his hands right there just kind of taking those deep breaths that i was mentioning earlier and you see i think alan's just kind of giggling <laughs> well, I mean, at this point alan's just having fun and i do apologize that we are having a little bit of talk stone while we wait for alan but at the same time it's pretty bloody brilliant that we actually get a player that it does show this personality. You nailed it right on the head earlier that some players do lack that kind of little bit of pizzazz about them and they kind of just, they look a little bit bored when they're on the stage. I like to see someone that gets excited when they win, when they show off when they have the chance to, when they play to a crowd like Alan was. As soon as he heard the crowd reacting to his BM, he just BM'd even more and even more. And now going into this final game five, is that BM going to help him to try and take the title of HDT Tokyo? We are going to find out as Alan has his spiteful druid against Hinaya's Zulok.
And here you see right here, Zulok has some very awkward hands. Voodoo Doctor, Fungal Mancer, Spellbreaker, very awkward cards. Alan has Firefly, Mind Control Tech, Chain Gang. Hanaya is just going to go ahead and full toss, oh. and he's going to find a better hand, but it's still not the best hand. It was a risk. It's always a risk throwing away a one drop, even though Voodoo Doctor's not that great, but he gets the Flame Imp. That was the number one card he would have wanted. He has double Light Ward to follow up as well. If he finds any sort of healing, suddenly his hand gets very, very, very scary. But Mind Control Tech in the hand for Alan could be very influential in this matchup. Oh, but that uh, is a Fungal Enchanter. It's going to be very powerful. I, w I wouldn't be surprised to see Alan potentially hero power on this upcoming turn, but it's so difficult to say. I think Coin Crypt Lord is probably correct. I think you have to do it, but this is going to get pretty severely punished by this Fungal Enchanter. It is, but it does allow for a mind control neck. Mind control and tech next turn. Oh my goodness gracious. Stop it. It's just filthy at this point. But Mind Control Tech can maybe get Alan back into this. I think Mind Control Tech can, but it's going to be very difficult. Oh, uh, this is... This is going to be painful. And Alan's nodding already. I mean, Alan can't hear the crowd, of course, but he will be able to see the crowd uh, just jeering and gesticulating for how excited they are, as that is one of the most disgusting boards we've seen this tournament. Mind Control Tech has to do some kind of work here. It has to hit one of the 7-2 or 7-1. It doesn't. I mean, even that's fine. There is a whiff on the side of Hanaya if this board can be cleaned up. So much damage. This is just so much damage on the other side. damage available for Alan. And, and he finds the Voidwalker to protect everything as well. Alan tried his hand with all the BM. He tried to rub salt in the wounds of Hinaya from that victory, but now it's all coming back. Karma is happening to Alan here. As really, he just has to put a Saronite Chain Gang and hope for the best, but Fungal Mancer is lethal. there. Hinaya is going to be the HGT Tokyo Champion. The crowd erupt because he is from Japan. He is the home crowd favorite, but well played to Alan. And a massive, a massive effort from him. He tried his hand, but Hinaya is our champion. I think that was one of the quickest game fives I have ever seen in a Hearthstone Finals. And I mean, that just goes to the testament of, we were talking about how awkward Zhu can draw, but sometimes Zhu just draws the best hand ever and you just win. And that's why people play Zoo, and that's why it's such a good deck. And I can barely hear my own voice over the crowd erupting there as well as we know they were supporting the Japanese player, Hinaya. And you've got to say that Alan, he delayed it as much as he can, but maybe he knew the inevitable was coming, and maybe that's why he wanted to just slow everything down, as there will be a small interview here with Hinaya. But of course, we are just going to speak over it as well. Uh, we can't translate because I don't know what's being said, but you can see the comedian that is stage hosting just making a few jokes, as it were, <laughs> as well. Wouldn't be surprised if those jokes are about Alan and how much he beat yeah, him during exactly. those games. You see all of the players coming out, just, you know, supporting Hinaya and his victory. I mean, that was very impressive. You see, Alan, I mean, Alan kind of knew what he was getting into yeah. as soon as he signed up for that final match. Alan knew there was the potential.